Hello and welcome to the A-Level Physics ISA Help. This is part one about results tables. So let's get started. When you plot a results table, the first thing to get right is the headings. Every column in your results table must have correct headings. Ours is missing something though. A second point is always for getting the units correct. So for example, in this case, I need the potential difference in volts, the current in amps, and the resistance in ohms. Third thing to think about is have you got room in your table to take repeat measurements? In this case we're varying the potential difference, we're measuring the current and I'm calculating the resistance so I need to show repeat readings for my current measurement and I can do that by adding um, spaces and columns for three repeats and then a mean column to show that I'm calculating the mean of those values that I'll then use to go on and calculate the resistance. Another mistake pupils often make when doing these sorts of things is to get the significant figures wrong in the columns. Now these have to be consistent. So if I'm using a voltmeter that can measure to say two decimal places, then I might measure the first measurement to be 1.00 volts, the second to be 2.00 volts, the third to be 3.00 volts. Many students will round that to either 3 and forget to put the 3.00. The 0 .00 there is not useless. It's telling us what precision we can make that measurement to. The 0, 0 is vital. And the same goes for the current measurement as well. So if I am say, using a similar meter, I might have a measurement of the current that was 0 0.34. For example, I might have 0 0.33 here, and I might have 0. 3, 2 here. Now the mean of those three is 0 0.33, but I might in the mean column be tempted to round that to less significant figures or to express it to more significant figures. One thing I often see is people writing their answers like this. Now of course you can't do that. The mean column has to be exactly the same number of significant figures as the other two because this is implying a different precision to the original measurement and that can't be the case. It has to be to the same precision. And the same goes for the resistance column. So using the formula um, V equals IR to calculate resistance in this case, R would equal one divided by 0 0.33, which would give a resistance of three, but it wouldn't just be three ohms, it would be 3.00 ohms. Getting the headings, the units, the significant figures, all correct with repeat readings for all should get you full marks for the results table in your ISA. Please join us for part two which will be about graphs sometime soon. Thank you very much for watching.